Hey Jingles, great here. I just wanted to respond to your Excelsior review. I don't want to say on the onset, I'm not an Excelsior fanboy. I don't even own the tank, okay? <laughs> I have never purchased it, never driven it. Here's my entire uh, British lineup. Here's my Matilda, my absolute favorite tank in this game. Churchill 7, Electo, and the Churchill Gun Carrier. Uh, the whole reason I'm, I'm recording this video is because I think you gave the Excelsior a bad rap. Um, you've said in the past that your initial impressions of a tank, your, your initial results of it in a tank, uh, you notice tend to color how, how you think about that tank going into the future. And I think that's what's happening here. Now, you levied two specific complaints against the Excelsior. Uh, the second one being its armor uh, not standing up like you thought it should, uh, mainly that 114 hull armor to the front. Now I can't show you on the screen, um, but what I did is uh, there is an Android app which will load the actual models from the game, let you uh, put a gun at a certain distance and shoot it at that tank well, not shoot it, but it will do the, the actual math, and it will color the tank to show you whether um, that particular shot will bounce or has a chance of penetrating. Now, I did that. I loaded up the Excelsior, and uh, I set a KV-1 at about 300 meters and saw, uh, t and then rotated it a bit because you can actually do uh, rotate the model to simulate um, angling to see if... Uh, that KV-1 with this 85 mm, uh, millimeter gun could actually penetrate. And if you note, it does have 120 millimeters of penetration, which means he's got 6 millimeters to play with. Um, but I do agree with you that he really should not have penned as much as he did. Um, I don't remember what the other tank was, so I can't compare, but I'm focusing on the KV-1 because that's what you were focusing on. Now, the, what I think happened is, let me pull up the characteristics for this gun again, is 8.6 has been out a while. And I think the Excelsior has gotten a reputation of having that great armor from the front. And just like the Ferdinand, whenever people see the tank, they know they're going to have a hard time penetrating it from the front they're going to automatically load gold ammo. And I think that's what might have happened here. You put one round into the tank. It's it's difficult to judge armor based on one round simply because if you're facing off against people who bump their penetration from 120 to 161, yeah, they're going to they're going to cut through your armor. I mean, there's no way around it. Um so yeah, I think it really needs to to judge the armor, you need a few more rounds than just um, just that one round or even the two or three rounds, uh, including the rounds from the test server. Now, just as comparison to show you how favorably the armor of the Excelsior holds up, here is the American Tier 5 Premium Heavy. And it's got 50 all the way around. Uh, Granted, the sides on that uh, on the Excelsior are garbage at what was it, 34 millimeters? But uh, yeah, the T14, it's got. I'm not sure if these count as spaced armor. Yeah, they probably do. But yeah, 50 on the sides is not much better than 34 at this tier. And even with this wonderful angling up front, trust me. This tank does hardly bounces any shots at all from the front. Um, when I take this out, I actually play it more as a medium than a heavy. So let's look at the other thing that uh, you had to complain with, which is that gun. That 75mm Mark V gun with the 91 millimeters of penetration. Now... Something we have to keep in mind here is that this is a Tier 5 premium tank. Wargaming, in general, does not give the premium tanks the best guns for their tier. 
Um, I'm pretty sure there are some tanks out there that do have excellent guns, uh, probably the SU-100Y. But in general, you're not going to get the top tier guns for your premium tanks. So when you're comparing guns of a similar tier, you can't look at the top tier gun of that tier. Here is the 75 millimeter for the Churchill 1 has 145 average penetration and 135 average damage. But if you drop down one tier, same name, just no compatibility. 75 millimeter Mark V, 91 penetration, 110 average damage. So it's comparable to the second best gun for the Churchill 1. But really, we should be comparing it against other Tier 5 premiums. So let's look at the Matilda Black Prince and the gun that it sports. It breaks out a 6-pounder Mark 5A. Uh, 110 average penetration, 75 damage. Basically, between these two guns, you're flipping, you're, you're, you're flipping your penetration and your damage. Um, you gain a little bit of penetration, you lose... A little bit more in uh, damage. But let's compare that to the Americans as they also have a premium medium tank and a premium heavy tank. The Ram 2 gets a six pounder gun with 105 average penetration, 75 damage. Basically comparable between the mediums. Let's look at the, uh, the T14 and its gun. It's got a 75 millimeter gun, an M3. It has 92 average penetration, 110 average damage. Um, between the Excelsior and the T14, you're, you're getting basically the same gun, except one aims a little bit better, and the other one is a little more accurate. That's it. So the Excelsior, gun-wise, compares with the T14. Let's go down to the Soviets, because they too have a medium and a heavy. So the Matilda 4 gets a 76 millimeter gun, and if we compare it against the 75 millimeters, it has worse penetration at 86, but that same 110 damage. And the premium medium, the or I'm sorry, the premium heavy, the Churchill 3, which is the one that you compare it against, has the anomaly. It actually has the, Briti the, uh, the British 6-pounder with that same 110 penetration and 75 damage. So this gun is actually not the worst in the lot. That goes to the Matilda Black Prince. And it's actually about average for the tier. It's not the best gun, not the best of the premiums, but it's also not the worst. It's it's middling. Which means that the Excelsior, its best comparison is actually right here with the Churchill, uh, or not the Churchill, the T14. Let me get back to my garage. Now the difference between the T14 and the Excelsior, in addition to the, the armor being much better on the Excelsior, uh, the Excelsior is a little bit faster. It's about four kilometers an hour faster. It has a 32 traverse speed compared to the 20 on the T14. And I believe its turret traverse is better as well. Let's take a look. Um, pull up the stats for the T14. British Excelsior vehicle details. T14 has slightly better, uh, better hit points but it's slower, with a lower traverse, worse armor, um, and a worse turret traverse. So these are the two tanks that you really should be comparing, and the Excelsior compares pretty favorably to the T14. Um, and the T14, while not the greatest of the Tier 5 tanks, is actually not that much of a slouch. Uh, I can't pull up the stats here, mainly because of my, I'd have to go by my crew stats, and my crew is actually my T1 heavy crew sitting in my T34 right now. 
but in my T14, according to some of the stat sites, I've actually got a 52% win rate on this thing. Uh, I face off against KV1s and Churchill 3s and Churchill 1s in this tank, and I can pen them. I have to work at it. I admit, I, I'm used to the 110 penetration that you would get with the other premiums, and it's a lot easier in my, when I was in my Churchill 1 to penetrate uh, uh, comparable tanks, but it's not impossible with this with this tank with this with this uh, gun, the the 92 millimeters on this gun. So I think the initial impression that you got from the Excelsior, both from the the test server, which we know is a horrible place to test uh, tanks because everyone's firing gold, and the lower tiers are usually ignored anyway. Um, and the, the few rounds that you've put in since the test is giving you just a really bad taste for a tank that isn't really all that bad when you compare it to the other Tier 5 premiums. In fact, I think if you're going to call the Excelsior garbage, uh, garbage of a tank, then you're basically throwing away all but two of the, the Tier 5 premiums. The T25, because it actually has the best gun of the Tier 5 premiums, it's got 100 and, it's like 125 pen on its gun. Let's look that up real quick. Here's the T25 with the 7 points, uh, 116 penetration and 110 damage. So arguably it's got the best of the Tier 5 premium guns. Um, and the, the Churchill 3, because it's got that, that wonderful 6-pounder with the 110 pen, fast rate of fire, but only 75 damage. Other than those two tanks, everything is comparable or worse than, than the Excelsior. And I don't think you can throw away all but two of the Tier 5 premiums, because they, they aren't that bad. They, they do a reasonable amount of damage, and, they, and as of 8.6... Uh, when we got the the readjustment to the tier 5 premium credit gain, these do make a, a decent amount of money. So, like I said, I think you just gave the tank a bad rap, and uh, if you give it a, a fair shake, a good 20 to 30 rounds, and I know that seems like a lot, but a good 20 to 30 rounds, that'll let you see, you know, what that armor can do in a variety of situations, and uh, that the gun while a tad underpowered, is not incapable of doing damage to other Tier 5, Tier 6 tanks. Anyway, uh, well, if I convinced you or not, I hope you have fun.